Hello students, come on, we'll continue the problems on unit and output costing. So previous video, we have completed the short questions on unit and output costing. Those are the basic problems where we have calculated the prime cost, works cost, percentages and uh, quotations. We have made, we have uh, completed the short questions. Now we are coming to the main problems on this unit and output costing. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers that you are having the hard copy of all the problems. I have provided the questions in the link. So go to the description, find the link, get a hard copy of the problem and keep it ready. Without that, you cannot understand the problems. Now I'm starting the first main problem. See the problem. The accounts of Ajanta Company Limited for the year ended 31st December 1976 show the following. So data is given for the year 1976. Stock of raw material on 31st December 1976. Closing stock of material. And stock of material on 1-1-1976. 1st Jan 1976. Opening stock of material. So by closing stock of material and opening stock of material is given. Then material purchased. By using this we can find out material consumed. So material consumed, opening stock of raw material, add purchase of raw material. Agar problem may carriage inwards agar dega, to carriage inwards will also be added to purchase of raw material. Right? So any incidental expenditure incurred to purchase the material will be added to material. So material purchase, traveling expenses. See here, the new point in this problem is you have to decide which item should be taken under which head. Now you have to apply your logic. Some principles are given. In making the cost sheet, first we have to find out the prime cost. Prime cost consists of direct material, direct wages, direct expenses. Agar problem a direct expense nahi diya, if it is not given, then direct material and direct wages, prime cost. Then factory overhead, administration overhead, selling and distribution overhead, three overheads are there. Now it is it has not specified in the problem which item should be taken under which head. Now we have to decide. Right? Now, first item, traveling expenses. Remember, it is related to sales. So, traveling expenses should be taken under selling overhead, selling and distribution. Drawing office salaries. Actually, this designing and drawing of the product will be done in the factory. Product ki jo designing hoti hai, uske drawing hoti hai, that will be done in the factory only. So, drawing office salaries will be taken under factory overhead. Then, counting house salaries after finished product after making the production then we have to count in this counting will be done in the selling and distribution so counting how salary should be taken under selling and distribution advertisement expenses again selling and distribution over it carriage and cartridge outward carriage outward should be taken under selling and distribution over it carriage and cartridge inward i told you just now Carriage inward will be added to purchase of material. The material consumed may have. Then bad debts written off. There is difference of opinion on the treatment of bad debts. Some author says bad debts should not be taken. But some other author says bad debts can be taken. So it depends on uh, our opinion, our treatment. So we will treat bad debts as a part of selling and distribution for it. And we'll give a note that we have treated the bad debts as a part of selling and distribution for it. Then repairs to plant, machinery and tools, factory overhead. Rent rates and uh, insurance, rent rates, taxes and insurance, factory. In bracket itself it is given factory. So we'll take under factory overhead. Rent rates, taxes, insurance in bracket office. So it will be taken under administration overhead. Traveler salaries, it will be taken under selling and distribution overhead. Then productive wages, means direct wages. Depreciation written off on office furniture administration over it director's fee administration over it gas and water factory in bracket it is given factory so we'll take under factory then again it is given gas and water office so this will be taken under administration over it then manager's salary 10,000 is given in bracket it is given three-fourth factory one-fourth office so 10,000 ka three-fourth 7,500 should be charged in factory over it and one fourth of 10,000, 2,500 should be charged in office overhead, administration overhead. So bifurcate, 
टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज जो मैनेजर सैलरी है उसका थ्री फोर्थ फैक्ट्री में डालेंगे वन फोर्थ ऑफिस में डालेंगे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन देन जनरल एक्सपेंसिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओवर इट मिलेंगे डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ प्लांट एंड मशीनरी फैक्ट्री ओवर इट देन सेल्स आर गिवन फोर लैख सिक्सटी सेवन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड प्रिपेयर स्टेटमेंट गिविंग द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन स्टेटमेंट का मतलब स्टेटमेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट कॉस्ट शीट शोइंग मेटीरियल कंज्यूम्ड देन प्राइम कॉस्ट तो इन द स्टेटमेंट यू हैव टू शो हाउ मच मेटीरियल कंज्यूम हाउ मच इज द प्राइम कॉस्ट हाउ मच इज फैक्ट्री ऑन कॉस्ट एंड इट्स परसेंटेज ऑन वेजेस फैक्ट्री ऑन कॉस्ट कितना है और उसका परसेंटेज कितना है वेजेस के ऊपर रिमेंबर फैक्ट्री ऑन कॉस्ट का मतलब फैक्ट्री ओवरहेड नॉट फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट इज डिफरेंट फैक्ट्री ऑन कॉस्ट इज डिफरेंट फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट का मतलब प्राइम कॉस्ट में फैक्ट्री ओवरहेड को एड कर दिए तो फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट आता लेकिन फैक्ट्री ऑन कॉस्ट का मतलब टोटल ऑफ फैक्ट्री ओवर इट्स एंड फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट वी है जनरल ऑन कॉस्ट एंड इट्स परसेंटेज ऑन फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट जनरल ऑन कॉस्ट का मतलब द टोटल ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओवर इट द टोटल ऑफ ऑफिस ओवर इट इज कॉल्ड जनरल ऑन कॉस्ट एंड वी फाइंड आउट द परसेंटेज ऑफ जनरल ऑन कॉस्ट ऑन फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट देन लास्टली टोटल कॉस्ट एंड द प्रॉफिट दिस आर द दिस द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम नाउ सी मेन प्रॉब्लम अजंता कंपनी लिमिटेड स्टेटमेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड 31 दिसंबर 1970 मटेरियल कंज्यूम्ड ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ मटेरियल 48000 परचेज ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल 185 कैरेज एंड कार्टेज इनवर्ट 7150 तीनों को ऐड कर देंगे 240 150 लेस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल 62 800 तो मटेरियल कंज्यूम्ड 177 350 वी गॉट इट सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर व्हिच आइटम शुड बी एडेड व्हिच आइटम शुड बी डिडक्टेड इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट मटेरियल कंज्यूम्ड then productive wages directly given in the problem no adjustment nothing prime cost we got to prime cost we add factory overhead just now i told you you have to remember which are the items which come under factory overhead drawing office salaries repairs to plant machinery tools rent rates taxes insurance factory gas and water factory manager's salary 3/4 of 10000 7500 depreciation on plant and machinery 6500 these are the factory overheads The total of the factory overhead is thirty-four thousand six hundred fifty, and the total of factory overhead is called factory on cost. Factory on cost is nothing but factory overhead. Factory overhead ko hi factory on cost kehte hain. Now add up kar denge. Ye prime cost hai, ye factory on cost hai. Dono ko add kar diye to factory cost hota. Just now I told you, don't get confused between these two. These are entirely different. फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट में प्राइम कॉस्ट और फैक्ट्री ओवर दोनों को मिला लिए तो फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट और फैक्ट्री ऑन कॉस्ट का मतलब ओनली ओनली फैक्ट्री ओवर दैट्स इट नाउ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओवर रेंट रेट्स टैक्सेस एंड इंश्योरेंस ऑफिस डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन ऑफिस फर्नीचर डायरेक्टर फी गैस एंड वाटर ऑफिस मैनेजर सैलरी ऑफिस वन फोर्थ ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड जनरल एक्सपेंसिस द टोटल ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओवर इज कॉल्ड जनरल ऑन कॉस्ट तो जनरल ऑन कॉस्ट इज नथिंग बट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओवर इट 14600 add up factory cost and general on cost cost of production to cost of production we add selling and distribution over it traveling expense counting house salaries advertisement carriage and cartage outward then bad debts written off traveler salary and commission the total is 36100 is the total of selling and distribution over it to this we add up cost of sales to so add up 3 lakh 50 to 600 plus 36100 Total cost is three lakh thirty eighty eight thousand seven hundred. This is called cost of sales or total cost. Now sales are given in the problem four lakh sixty one thousand one hundred. I told you profit is the difference between sales and total cost. Sales minus total cost, you will get the profit. So four lakh sixty one one hundred minus three eighty eight seven hundred, you will get seventy two four hundred is the profit balancing figure. That's all. This is the cost sheet. First main problem. So here I have explained you material consumed. We got one lakh seventy seven thousand three fifty. From here I got it. Prime cost three lakh three thousand three fifty. Here I got it. Factory on cost thirty four thousand six fifty. Percentage of factory on cost on wages. So how much is the factory on cost thirty four six fifty? How much are the wages one lakh twenty six thousand? So thirty four six fifty by one lakh twenty six thousand into hundred twenty seven point five. This is the percentage of factory on cost on direct wages. Factory cost is three lakh thirty eight thousand. Here we got it. Factory cost three lakh thirty eight thousand. Then general on cost fourteen thousand six hundred. Percentage of general on cost on works cost. 
तो 14,600 डिवाइडेड बाय 3,38 इसको फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट भी कहते हैं वर्क्स कॉस्ट भी कहते हैं दोनों का मतलब एक ही है फैक्ट्री कॉस्ट और वर्क्स कॉस्ट मींस वन एंड द सेम देन 14,600 बाय 3,38,000 इनटू 100 4.32 दैट इज द परसेंटेज टोटल कॉस्ट 3,88,700 and profit is 72,400 that's all ha, so I have explained you in detail in this problem you have to decide which item should come under which overhead that is the new point that's the difficult point once if you practice logically if you think then definitely there is no problem at all it's a very very easy topic unit and output costing okay we'll continue the second problem in the next come on now we'll start the second main problem Already we have completed one problem. Second problem, you see, the following data has been extracted from the books of Sunshine Industries Limited for the year 1985. Sunshine Industries Limited for the year 1985. The information is given. Opening stock of raw material 25,000. Purchase of raw material 85,000. Closing stock of raw material 40,000. Carriage inward 5,000. By using this, we can find out material consumed. Opening stock of raw material, add purchase of raw material, add carriage inward minus closing stock of raw material. What we get? Material consumed. Then it is given direct wages direct. So direct wages will be a part of prime cost. The material consumed by direct wages ko add kar diye to prime cost. Then indirect wages, one new point is given. Direct wages is a part of prime cost. Then what about indirect wages? It should be taken under factory overhead. The word wages direct raha to prime cost me lenge. Indirect wages agar raha to it will be taken under factory overhead. That point you have to remember. Then other direct charges. Other direct charges means direct expenses. So it's a part of prime cost. So material consumed, direct wages and other direct charges. Ye tino ko mila liye prime cost. Then rent and rates factory. In the problem itself, it is specified rent and rates factory. So we'll take under factory. Then rent and rates office. Office means administration. So we'll take the rent and rates in administration. Then indirect consumption of material. Actually, material ka direct consumption bhi hai, indirect consumption bhi hai. The direct consumption of material will be taken under material consumed. The indirect consumption of material will be taken under factory overheads. Then other factory expenses, the factory unit, advance income tax paid, new point, advance income tax paid, the word income tax paid itself will not come in cost accounting directly. So, khali pura solution hone ke baad, last mein ek note likh denge, income tax paid or advance income tax paid, whatever it may be, that is not a part of cost accounting, it will not be considered. It will be considered only in financial accounting, not in cost accounting. So advance income tax paid is a part of financial accounting. It will not be taken into account in cost accounting. Ignore. Then depreciation. We are given depreciation plant and machinery. So it will be taken under factory unit. Because plant and machinery use ka hota? Factory mein. So factory unit. Then office furniture. Depreciation on office furniture. Anything related to office will be taken under administration over it. Then salary, office 2500, salesman 2000. Salary, jo hai, office salary is bhi hai, salesman salary bhi hai. Jo office salary hai, wo administration. Jo salesman salary hai, that will come under selling and distribution over it. Then other office expenses, administration. Then manager's remuneration 12,000. If not, Thing is given, then manager's remuneration should be taken under administration. If it is given that some part will be taken under factory, some part will be taken under selling, then we'll follow the instructions. If nothing is given, then administration. Bad debts written off, selling and distribution. Advertising, selling and distribution. Traveling expenses, selling and distribution. Carriage outward, selling and distribution. Sales are given, that is the last item, sales. The manager has overall charge of the company and his remuneration is to be allocated. Upar diya manager's salary 12,000 but manager's salary has to be allocated in the three overheads. Factory overhead, administration overhead and selling and distribution overhead. How much it is given? The manager has overall charge of the company and his remuneration is to be allocated 4,000 to the factory. 
out of 12,000, 4,000 should be allocated to the factory and 2,000 should be allocated to the office and 6,000 should be allocated towards selling operations. So out of 12,000, 4,000 to factory, 2,000 to office and 6,000 to selling and distribution. Like this, we we'll bifurcate. From the above particulars, prepare a statement showing prime cost, factory cost, cost of production, cost of sales, net profit. So it is asking you to make a cost statement showing differently the prime cost, works cost, cost of production, total cost, net profit. That's what it is asking you to show. Already I have explained you all the items, every item where it will come, see the solution. State, Sunshine Industries Limited statement of cost for the year 1985. Metal consumed, opening stock of raw metal, add purchase of raw metal, add carriage inward, minus closing stock of raw metal will get metal consumed. Then direct wages co add kalega, other direct charges. Yeah, other direct charges are direct expenses. Tino co add kalega, prime cost 1,65,000. To this we add factory audit. Under factory audit, indirect wages, rent rates, factory, indirect consumption of material, other factory expense, depreciation on plant and machinery, manager's remuneration, factory. These are the items that will come under factory audit. Then total of the factory audit are 26,700. The prime cost and factory or a donor quad curly, the works cost 191700 The works cost 191700 Administration over it, rent and rates, office, depreciation on office furniture, salary, office, other office expense, manager remuneration, office. All these are office expenses, administration. Totally 6000 To add up works cost and uh, administration over it, you will get cost of production 197700 now selling and distribution over it, salary salesman, then manager's remuneration, selling operations, bad debts written off, advertising expense, traveling expense, carriage outward. The total of the selling and distribution 13,100. Now add up cost of production and selling and distribution over it, total cost or cost of sales 2,10,800. Now sales are given in the problem, 2,50,000 are the sales. So sales minus total cost, you will get the profit balancing figure 39,200. So in this type of problems, only you have to remember which item should be taken under which overhead. If you commit a mistake, then definitely you will get the total. Suppose if an item is a factory overhead by mistake, we have taken an administration overhead. Nothing will happen. The total net profit will be same, but the presentation will be wrong. In examination, you will not get the marks. So logically, you have to think which item should come under which Head. That's all. So this is the end of problem number two. Come on. Now we'll start problem number three. See the problem number three. The following is the manufacturing and profit and loss account of a company for the year ending 31st December 1999. So one profit and loss account, trading profit and loss account is given in the problem. And from this we have to make the statement of cost. Now see. Uh, I'm reading out the debit side of profit and loss account to opening stock of raw material 2000 to finished goods 3000 total opening stock is 5000 that means we have opening stock of raw material as well as opening stock of finished goods similarly credit side by sales 5 lakh by closing stock of raw material 18500 by closing stock of finished goods 3000 so we are having opening stock and closing stock of raw material and finished goods. Now purchase of raw material. Purchase of raw material is 1,50,000. Direct wages 1,20,000. Power 15,500. If it is uh, the misprint is there 15,000 make it 15,500 in the problem. It is not 15,000. Power is 15,500. Make the correction in the question paper. Now carriage inward, already you know carriage inward will be added to purchase of raw material. So we take opening stock of raw material, add purchase of raw material, add carriage inward minus closing stock of raw material. Then royalty cost of special design. These are royalty and cost of special design. These are the direct expenses incurred. So under direct expenses we take royalty and cost of special design and power we will take under factory weight power we have to take under factory weight now 
डेबिट साइड ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट रेंट एंड रेट्स ऑफिस फाइव थाउजेंड फैक्ट्री सेवन थाउजेंड तो डायरेक्टली इट इज स्पेसिफिकली गिवन ऑफिस जो है उसको एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में लेंगे और फैक्ट्री जो है फैक्ट्री वॉलेट में लेंगे टेलीफोन थ्री थाउजेंड विल सी द प्रॉब्लम हाउ टेलीफोन विल बी चार्ज इफ नथिंग इज गिवन द होल टेलीफोन विल चार्ज इन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पूरा एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में चार्ज कर देंगे अगर कुछ भी नहीं दिया तो इफ इट इज गिवन इन सम इंस्ट्रक्शन इन द एडजस्टमेंट देन विल फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन एडवर्टाइजमेंट सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओवर इट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी स्पेसिफिकली इट इज गिवन ऑफिस थ्री थाउजेंड एंड फैक्ट्री फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड तो ऑफिस जो है वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में लेंगे और फैक्ट्री फैक्ट्री ओवर इट में लेंगे प्रोविजन फॉर बैड डेट्स न्यू पॉइंट प्रोविजन फॉर बैड डेट्स शुड नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड इन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट रिमेंबर हा बैड डेट्स If bad debts are there, that will be taken under selling and distribution. But provision for doubtful debts should not be taken, because it is not the actual loss; it is the expected loss. Ha, huh? bad debts is an actual loss. Provision for doubtful debts is an expected loss. So bad debts, if it has happened, that will be taken under selling and distribution. But here, provision for doubtful debts will give a note. In the note, we should write down that provision for doubtful debts will be the item of. financial accounting it's not an item of cost accounting then income tax again in the previous problem i told you income tax is an item of financial accounting it will not appear in cost statement salaries <clears throat> if nothing is given salaries will be taken under uh, administration over it but if instructions are given in the problem we'll follow the instruction then donation again donation is an item which will appear only in financial accounting not in cost accounting we will ignore we will write a note to so, teen items note pe likhenge provision for doubtful debts income tax and donation these three items will not appear in cost statement it will go to financial accounting now next item is establishment expenses if nothing is given then establishment expenses will be fully charged to administration otherwise if instructions are given we will follow the instruction depreciation on then we are given depreciation on different assets depreciation on office furniture will charge in administration depreciation on factory furniture factory owe it depreciation on plant and machinery factory owe it depreciation on delivery van actually delivery van will be charged in selling and distribution owe it <coughs> goods to be transported after making the finished goods <coughs> it has to be transported so delivery van is needed so depreciation on delivery van selling and distribution over it last item rent of warehouse this will be charged in selling and distribution because warehouse the warehouse will be used for storing the finished goods so selling and distribution will be rent of warehouse so debit side completed now see the credit side gross profit 2 lakh interest on loan this interest on loan it is given on the credit side of pnl account so it is interest earned it is an item of financial accounting it will not appear in cost accounting so interest received on loan given that is the meaning if it is given on the credit side so just try to note interest on loan will is an item which should be taken in financial accounting it will not appear in cost accounting similarly sale of scrap already in the theory video i have explained you sale of scrap will be deducted from factory owe it jo total factory owe it rahega usme se sale of scrap minus kar denge and discount received again it is an item of financial accounting it will not be considered in cost accounts over profit and loss account completed now adjustments prepare a cost sheet from the particulars given below taking into account the following into details 60% of telephone expenses related to office and 40% to sales department see here. telephone expenses telephone expenses are debited to profit and loss account 3000 in profit and loss account debit side telephone expenses are given 3000 adjustment it is saying 60% to be charged to office and 40% to be charged to selling and distribution so we buy for kept we'll follow the instruction जितना ऑफिस में डालना है ऑफिस में डालेंगे जितना सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में डालना है सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विल फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन देन 25% ऑफ सैलरी इज रिलेटेड टू फैक्ट्री एक्चुअली सैलरी इज डेबिटेड टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट आर 
25,000 rupees are salary debited to PNL account. Now it is saying that 25% should be charged to factory. So 25% of 25,000 that will be charged to factory. 50% to office. So 25,000 50% will be charged to administration over it and 25% to sales department so 25% of 25,000 will be charged to sales so total salary of 25,000 debited to PNL account usko will divide in 3 25% factory 50% administration and remaining 25% in selling and distribution because it is given in the adjustment if the adjustment is not given the entire salary we would have charged to administration 50% of establishment expenses of related to office and 50% to sales department. Now establishment expenses debited to profit and loss account is 10,000. Now adjustment is saying 50% charge to administration and remaining 50% to selling and distribution. 5,000, 5,000 coming. That's it. Over. Finished. Not over. I have explained you all the items. You have to remember which items should be taken and how to be treated and which are the items should not be considered in cost accounting, cost sheet. So debit side you can see provision for taxation, income tax paid, donation, debit side. These three items are given, should not be considered. Credit side, interest on loan and discount received. These two items should not be considered. That's it. Now see the solution. Statement of cost for the year ended 31st December 1999, material consumed. Opening stock of raw material 2000, purchase of raw material 150, carriage in what 2000, total is 154,000. From this closing stock of raw material 18,500, subtract material consumed is 135,500. 135,500. Already in so many problems we have seen these calculations. Then direct wages 120,000 and direct expenses will take royalty and cost of special design. These two items are called direct expenses. So it will be added. So prime cost we got 284500 Now factory over it. Power. Trading account my debit side the power. That will be taken here. 15,500. 15,500. Then rent rates. Factory 7,000. Electricity. Factory 4,500. Salary is factory. 25% of 25,000. 6,250. Depreciation on factory furniture. Depreciation on plant and machinery. The total of factory over it is 41,250. 41,250 is the total of the factory over it. From this, we subtract the sale of scrap. This is the new point in this problem. Remember, the sale of scrap should be deducted from factory over it. The works cost is 3,25,000. Now, works cost 3,25,000. Administration over it, rent and rates, office 5,000. Telephone, 60% of 3,000. It is given in the problem. 3,000 rupees telephone, 60% charge to office and 40% charge to selling and distribution. It is given in the adjustment. So 60% of 3000. Electricity office 3000 directly given. Salaries office 50% of 25,000. 12,500. Establishment expense 50% of 10,000. 5,000. Depreciation on office furniture. Take the total of administration 29,800. Cost of production 354,800. To cost of production, we add opening stock of finished goods and subtract closing stock of finished goods. In the beginning, it is given opening stock and closing stock. So opening stock of finished goods 3000 add kar denge. Then again, closing stock of finished goods 3000 minus kar denge. So cost of goods sold 354,800. So we have reached up to cost of goods sold. Now selling and distribution over it. Cost of goods sold, selling and distribution over it. Telephone 40% of 3200. Advertisement we have taken salaries 25% of 25,000. Establishment expense 50% of 10,000. Depreciation on delivery van. Rent of the warehouse. Take the total 28,450. Uh, 28,450 28, add up. The cost of sales or total cost 383,250. That is the cost of sales. Total cost. Profit sales are given in the problems 5 lakh. In the profit and loss account, sales are given 5 lakh. So 5 lakh minus 383,250. The balancing figure is the profit, 1,16,750. See here, three problems we have done, the main problems. In all the three problems, almost 80% points are same. Only 20% some new points are there. So you have to focus, concentrate on those new points, how we have treated. Then only you can be able to learn. Don't 
uh, study in a root manner in a I mean uh, just to, to try to mug up don't mechanical try to solve the problem apply the logic then only you can be able to enjoy the solution of the problem okay well uh, we have completed problem number three